Greetings. This video is a response to Satya, who asks about creating interactable UI or user interface functions and objects inside of Altspace VR. So, in order to explain how all of this works, I need to highlight three main components of a Altspace VR world, and that is the template, the kit, and MREs. So let's start off with templates. Right now we are inside of um, one of the rooms inside of one of my worlds. And if we look around, you see all of these objects and everything in here. Now watch this. Under your world editor button, you have, if you click this, you will notice you've got this toggle environment. If I click that, notice how everything, like the building, the monitors, uh, the office chair, every all of those items have uh, been hidden. And you see all of these, all of these objects and pictures and all that sort of stuff just kind of floating in the air. Basically, what I've done by hiding the environment is I've hidden the template. So the template is like your 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 base, your uh, your your core of the world, right? It's uh, if 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 it was a, a a home or a commercial building, your template would be like the actual physical structure that uh, the walls, the roof, um, you know, like any furniture that came with the with the house or with the building like for example a dishwasher that's embedded into the counter like all of that sort of stuff would be like the template and that stuff doesn't move you can't interact with it you can't grab it you can't do anything anything that you put inside of your template is not interactable in in the sense of grabbing and uh and that sort of stuff but Let's take, for example, like I've got this object right here. Notice how I can grab it and I can throw it. Okay, so that object is brought in here as a kit. So when you bring an object in as a kit, and I'll just go ahead and toggle my environment to bring all of this back. But when you bring an object in as a kit, at that point, you have the option of making it either wearable or um, grabbable, but at least to my knowledge, you can't do both at one time. You can't make something both grabbable and wearable. Making things wearable requires an MRE. And if you want to apply like advanced functions on something, requires an MRE. An MRE is a mixed reality extension. And it's a way of making Altspace VR do stuff that Altspace VR doesn't already do by itself. So let's take for so let's take these signs for example. Now, first of all, I'm going to hide my environment, and you can see how the sign along with the buttons are still here. So if I click this button, notice how I'm taken here to this car. This car. If I hide the environment, notice how the car is still in the air because it's part of the kit. I hit that button and I'm taken back. So when it comes to buttons, Allspace VR has, if you go to, if you open up your world editor and you go to Altspace and then kits, you'll notice these buttons. And so these buttons allow for basic UI interaction. So, for example, that teleport button that we just used in order to teleport to the Hellcat um, showroom, that's this button right here. And you can see that we can add this button. So if I just add this button, we have basic options here. We have a teleport destination name and we can give this button itself a name so that we can identify it here in the preset objects. We also have 
So that button will teleport us around the world. But imagine that you want to make a checkbox, right? So like you could say, um, just giving this a name. And then we could say, Okay, so now when I close this, close edit mode, if I click this, we get the checkbox. So you can imagine that you can have these all over the place. Um, so here's an example where I am using visit the website. If I click this, we get the prompt and then we open page now because I'm on a computer you know it opened the page in the new tab but if I was in VR it would open up right there with a window inside of VR okay making things grabbable is very easy so if we go under mine and we go under kits let's just grab like a shirt right so this is a shirt that I've uploaded now watch this under our object, if we hit this gear wheel, we can make it a object spawner. So if I, so first of all, notice that down here we do not have a interactable um, scale. But if after after checking the box object spawner and clicking confirm, if we open this back up, we get a new field down here for interactable object scale. I'm just going to make the interactable object scale since the, the scale for it right now is 2. I'm going to make it um, point, uh, 0.1 so it's even smaller. Okay. But now watch this. Just by applying object spawner. Oh, and also it has to be collidable. But by uh, applying object spawner, I'll just close this out. Now I can grab this object. So that's a form of being interactive also. So grabbing and um, when it comes to wearing, so wearing and grabbing is not the same thing in alt space VR. Whereas in like horizon worlds, wearing and grabbing, you can grab and then put on. But here, I'll just uh, take a selfie right now. So right now you see I've got this blue shirt on. If I put one of these shirts on, I'll put this shirt on. Now I'll take a selfie. And you can see I've got this shirt on. And so now, um, so, but these shirts are not grabbable, but they are wearable. Um, and so if you want to know how to make something wearable, watch my previous videos. Um, but uh, making them grabbable is just like I just showed you. So that's grabbable, that's wearable. I just showed you the buttons. Now let's talk about the MREs. When it comes to MREs, first of all, luminosity is one of the um, is 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 one of the main creators in alt space VR creating MREs. Here is a list of MREs that um, he has that are freely available. I'll put a link to this group inside the description. But here you're able to extend alt space VR using all of these different. Um, uh, MREs that he's created. So for example, if I wanted to add a pool, ta pool table inside the world and grab that URL and I can just go, I'll just put this right here. Imagine I want a pool table inside my office. I'll just hit edit mode and then here under basics MRE, we just pop in that URL right there and hit confirm and check that out we get a pool table. I'm just going to bring this down.
And so there we go. I'm going to straighten it out. And so now we've got a game of pool that we can play right here. And MREs are able to basically like there's no i mean I'm pre there are limitations but it's hard to describe what they could be because you 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 basically build whatever you can imagine and figure out how to build um using the mre sdk and api the sky is almost the limit like i said there are limitations but i'm i can't like describe what those limitations might be so i hope that kind of gives a little bit of insight remember there's the three different components there's the template the kit and the mres kits allow you to make objects interactable also inside of kits there are buttons um, altspace vr has their own set of buttons and the template is for making things um, like that's the the core foundation of the world the kits are the things that are the objects that can be interacted with grab worn and MREs are how you extend the functionality of Altspace VR and make it do stuff that at a core it doesn't already do